Yes, finally. Finally. Okay, so where's the fire brigade? Please come. What's up, food? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the next side of it. Because I am back with a Sims 4 mod list mod haul video. I'm showing you guys some brand new mods in my game that I found on the interwebs. I mean, where else would I find them but the internet? <laughs> anyway, moving on. I know I haven't posted a video in like two days, and that's because I have been addicted to Animal Crossing. So if you love Animal Crossing, uh, let me know in the comments below. I've been streaming it, and also we've been playing a another game as well over on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash is me Troy. Go follow, it's free. That's where I've been. And if I don't post videos, that's where I will be. All right, but let's go ahead and just jump right in because I know you clicked on these mod videos and it's what you just what you want to watch. So the first mod I'm going to show you actually comes from Little Zyka and it's actually a upgrade because for those of you who know, I love um, Little Zyka's mods. They're like nice little overrides. So for those of you who uh, use your phone a lot or you like how your phone looks in the game and you hate the block style that it gives you, um, there is a brand new iPhone 11 override from Little Zyka. I have the 10 in my game and now little Zyka just came out I think on the 20th the 11 I myself have the pro max version so you know of course I had to go get it comes in colors black gold white and uh, what other colors do, do they have I don't know I know there's four colors and there's one more color I can't get my mind off of right now but for those of you who know I love my little phone overrides as you can see here it is you, you know the drill you know the drill you can only have one installed you can't have more than one your sims will have the exact same color I wish our sims could have different phones it sucks that they can't because that block phone you know or you know a little bit more customization maybe in the future someone can give us a mod <laughs> that allows us to do that I don't know but yeah there is the brand new override you can go download it for free and my sim seems to be enjoying it i mean she got a brand new phone okay we finance and shit oh here we all right <laughs> all right let's go ahead and move on to the next mod hey boo troy here don't forget to get your exclusive membership badge and benefits from mod addicts anonymous that's linked in the description box below also like this video big thumbs up and keep watching towards the end bye all right, so we're in world because this next mod actually allows Granite Falls and Selva Dorada. I know I said it wrong. Please don't flame me in the comments. To become residential and it moves it to the main screen. I only downloaded the Granite Falls version right here because I wanted to make sure. Because you never know. When you're downloading mods that deal with the worlds or the map, like, just, you, you it's a hit or miss. I bet you never kiss. <laughs> no, let me stop. I just wanted to make sure so this mod brings those two worlds or vacation worlds into the main view and you can actually make them residential so we're in Granite Falls you, you saw it was on the main page okay I don't need to go back and I'm gonna click on one of these houses real quick because I did do it before just to make sure now this mod does, it does take a minute to get everything loaded I guess because it's not natural to have these vacation worlds um, like residential and to be honest, it's been a minute since I did a vacation in The Sims. I don't know why. I just don't go. I mean, we have the packs, especially the Granite Falls. I just don't go. We've tried many things to make Granite Falls feasible, like make it into a nice winter, I guess, winter wonderland or summer vacation destination. I don't know. Either way, we just don't go to res uh, Granite Falls. And I think it would be very cool to have this mod in your game to be lovable. You never know. You may have some Sims that want to move out to the country or you may want to move out to the wilderness. You can play that as a gameplay or you can go to... Um, Selva Dorada and you know stay there I know I'm saying it's so wrong please don't flame me okay but yeah so here it is this currently says rental in Granite Falls but you can actually make it to residential tiny home residential you can make it to whatever you can actually edit these lots now um and you can give them the lot traits whatever you want I don't I don't really care okay so um let's go move a sim in just to double check I'm gonna use Bob just because I feel like he needs some separation from Eliza so we're gonna move him out and we're gonna have him move to the you know the wilderness okay split from household and move as you can see it's very wintry so I guess he's gonna like the warm weather I don't even think Granite Falls has seasons. I think it's just regular cut dry, you know, because again, I don't even go there. So we're going to take half of the money. So 10,000 and leave her. Okay. Yeah. She's like a little bit less, but you know what? It's okay. All right. And we're moving to Granite Falls and we're going to live on this lot, which he can't afford, but you know what? Free real estates. 
on is a godsend and we're gonna go furnished and yeah we're gonna go live there and there we go we're now living in Granite falls and i think this is much one of the much easier mods because we do we have had mods before that try to make these worlds livable so we're gonna turn on all the necessities we're not gonna have premium cable or premium internet be living in the wilderness okay we're gonna have a cell phone limited service i love that now i just need a mod that has like limited something for living out here because you know it's all the trees all the wilderness and i think bob is going to enjoy life out here all right so i'm seeing this with the mod all right so i want to go ahead and show this to you guys because i was about to use bob again to um uh, for another mod and i see this so if you're going to travel with if you're going to use this mod you're going to travel they're going to be living here be mindful that they may not be able to leave um i let's let's try to go to uh where is it let's go to delso valley and it's giving me this lot is not available so it makes it livable however i don't think you can visit this mod will still be great if you just put your sims out there and you can probably go visit them you know so you don't really have to move them around but maybe just go visit or you can be like some sort of little isolation like he doesn't leave the house you can find a way to use this mod all right so real quick um the next mod that i want to show you is a over is an introduction override so uh, for those of you know the sims base like interaction system needs some work okay we're, we're going like all you have the same interactions for like many things and animations so this mod overrides the root animation to where it's a little bit more hostile um in my opinion so there we go we're going to so i believe from the creator they said that the nana -na 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 was the original and they did a little and they just over it so really a bit more hostile a bit more rude because it's like kind of like why would you nan and nan like why would you do that you know i don't really get that so there, there there's the animation <laughs> right there there's the animation we really just gave someone a um a rude introduction and it's like they're kind of unpleasant kind of tense but I mean, they're still gonna talk to each other like nothing's like nothing's going on. So, all right. So the next mod is the fire brigade for all. So you do need another expansion pack. You do need Eye of Living for this expansion pack because it increases the chance of the fire brigade coming to save the day. Um, let me go ahead and get a stove because I just realized we don't have a stove. There's also another mod in there that also decreases, well, increases the chance of your Sims getting uh let's ew oh my god why 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 does this happen okay if you have the uh if you have the smb bills mod when you move into a house the trash can is always disgusting i don't know why it just is um can we not do that bb.move objects on there we go perfect all right now we have a stove so Increases so this mod increases the likelihood of the fire brigade introduced with I living will show during a fire from 75% to 100% All right, so let's go ahead and cook and we have nothing to cook So let's go ahead and cook. We have no ingredients. We need to go get some ingredients Um, let me go to a house that has some ingredients real quick because clearly Bob is going to starve here All right, I'm gonna use my roommate just because for some reason I can't lower uh, my actual sims cooking right now i don't know why so let's go ahead and cook let's make um a grilled cheese and let's pray that she starts a fire to where the fire brigade comes so please sis i need you to burn down the house like burn down the fucking house please thanks i love you when you need your sim to burn down the house they don't burn down a house what kind of logic is that sis we're gonna try this again um cook uh grilled cheese single servant please for the oh wait she has a cooking skill sis where do your skills come from wow okay so my sim won't burn down the house i'm kind of upset i'm kind of mad really mad right now how about mac and cheese let's try mac and cheese you know what let's try a better stove maybe it's the stove i'm gonna cook until the fire happens just watch yes finally finally okay so where's the fire brigade please come here comes the fire brigade wait what is this old lady doing here wait 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 Wait, who are these people? Why are they coming into the house? Oh, yeah, the other fire brigade. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why is this old lady here with the fire brigade? Oh, my God. 
Thank you, Fire Brigade. They don't have Fire Brigade on top of their uh, names, on their names, but you know. Random Sims coming to your house during a fire, you have to know it's the Fire Brigade. Um, this person who made this mod, who released this mod, uh, is also working on a fire department mod. So uh, they decided to put this out there in the meantime. So thank you so much. I can't wait to see that future mod come through. But um, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> All right, one more item. So the space saving desk and bookshelf actually recolors. I don't know if it recolors it, but it actually gives a new function to the city living desk. So there are actually two in the game when you put this mod in, the regular version from city living and then this version as well. You do need city living, I believe, for this mod to work because it, it puts it like... I guess it clones it. I'm not really too sure. But what it does, it actually turns the desk into a bookshelf because you have books up here. So you can purchase books, open books. You can still do your homework. Duels. It, it still functions like a desk, but, you know, it's space saving. So you don't have to buy an external bookshelf. I don't know why um, this wasn't made function when it first came out because it kind of makes sense. But, yeah, we do have this mod now. But, yeah. So for those of you who like, you know, space saving, you, you wanted this to be a bookshelf, I thought this would be perfect. Because it, I mean, it, it, it looks amazing, you know. You just never know what you may need. It's like the little things, okay. My, my poor roommate's like, oh my god, I hate everything. Alright, but that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel for more Sims for mods. If you want a mod, if you want me to check out a mod, don't forget to leave it down in the comments. You can DM it to me on Twitter. Um, Yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, boo! <laughs>